Welcome to beautiful Italy, where I'm going to attempt to make the world's greatest pizza that you absolutely should never eat. Hello everybody, I'm Kylie Keen and welcome to Cooking Simulator. Actually, this is a game that we played a long, long time ago. But they've added a whole bunch of stuff to the game, including a pizzeria, which seems super awesome and also very dangerous for me specifically. There's a lot of things in here that I can hurt myself with and I probably will. But my primary goal today is to make pizza and not necessarily pizza that you want to eat, but pizza that no one should ever eat. Let's try to make some really disgusting pizzas today. And of course, we need to, you know, throw some logs in our in our fire here um, to get the oven going. You got to get it into the green area. I did do the tutorial for this. There's a lot, so I don't remember all of it, but I'm going to do the best I can. We definitely should start with making our dough. And we have recipes for dough. There's this cool app. Look at that. I really like New York style pizzas. Spelt flour style. I don't even know what that means. Sourdough. I think we could get pretty weird with a sourdough, right? Let's do it. Give me the ingredients. Give me the recipe for a sourdough pizza dough. Of course, we begin with bread flour. I think the flour is over here. Okay. Bread flour is different than spelt and universal and just flour flour for the record. Um, how much do we need? 3.5 kilograms. Okay. So we'll just pour this in here. And when it says you're good, we'll be like, okay, we're good. You know, just pouring flour into a giant bowl. It's the life of a pizza man. Boom. Okay. 3.5. He's done it. Now I'll just put it back on the shelf or I'll just throw it over here. Yeet. That was a terrible yeet. All right. Next ingredient, water. I think I get water from this box. This is like where you order everything. Liquids. Yeah. It's a grocery store. Grocery stores are just boxes. Oh my gosh, oh, there is truly foul options in here. Oh, could you imagine putting mayo in pizza dough? But would that ruin it? Like, it, here's the thing. I want it to be disgusting, but I also want it to still look like a pizza. Red hot sauce. Yes, absolutely. Please put red hot sauce in my dough. This is gonna ruin it, but I'm unwanted ingredient in the dough mixer. <laughs> I can't imagine why they wouldn't want hot sauce in their pizza dough, okay? I hope this doesn't ruin it, but for the sake of experimentation, we're gonna try. Let's get some water in there. I don't think this bottle of water is big enough. I think we're gonna have to buy some more. Pour it all in. Let's see where we get. All right, one more bottle. Pour it in. I like that our dough is like this weird pink Pepto-Bismol color. Truly disgusting. And you know, just for good measure, why don't we throw a bottle of glass in the mixer? Or at least try. <laughs> I tried. Salt, of course. We need salt. It's in the spices section. Gosh, there's so many good things in here. Ginger. Oh, oh, that would be disgusting. Let's not get too crazy. We put hot sauce in it. We don't want the pizza dough to completely blow up. Oh, oh, this is taking too long. We gotta use the, the big hole in the shaker. There, okay, a little too much salt, my bad. I'm sure the salt is the least of our worries though. Sourdough starter, where do you get sourdough starter? Is it in here? There it is, sourdough starter, let's go. Sure, throw some of that in there. I can't say I've ever had a pizza that had sourdough pizza dough. Also 300 milliliters, this is gonna take forever. <sighs> I like how it's calling what we're making just a mixture. It's not dough, it's just a mixture. Mixture, and I think it's because we added in the uh, hot sauce. So let's hope it doesn't completely ruin it. But if it does, at least we know. Can we pour a little bit faster? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That's better. Stop. Okay, good. And let's throw in the whole glass into the mixer. <laughs> oh gosh. Anybody want shards of glass in their pizza dough? Like I said, don't eat this pizza. Olive oil. Yes. Great stuff. Pour it in. Oh, I put way too much. I did not realize I was pouring that. Uh, okay. All right. We'll just set this down right over here. All right. Perfect. Ah, uh, the perfect sourdough pizza dough. Now we just need to put everything together. Mix it all up. There you go. Let's see what, what it comes up with once it's all done. It's 
not gonna be great, but that's the goal. Now, while that's happening, um, we have other things that we can do. We can gather some ingredients, and there's a lot. Oh my goodness, look at all this amazing stuff. What is this? Is bacon? You can just leave bacon out like that? Seems kind of weird. Pancetta, cured Tyrolean speck. I don't even know what that is. Prosciutto. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm, this is honestly making me hungry, but we need to find some truly heinous ingredients. Bananas. Yes. Please put bananas on a pizza. I need my I need my basket. So you, you take this basket and then you load this bad boy up with all your ingredients. We want, we want banana pizza. Mm, 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 mm. Can't get enough bananas on my pizza. How about asparagus? I like asparagus, I like bananas. But on a pizza, yeah, I don't know about that. Who's this dude? Why are you talking to me? Did I forget about the orders? No, this is my own personal order. My pizzeria, I get to make the pizzas for myself. Those are the rules. What are these? Chili peppers. Yeah, get them in there. Jalapenos. Sure. How about some jarred stuff? Dried tomato, capers. Capers are super salty. You know what? <laughs> Throw them on there. Sweet corn. Have you ever had corn on a pizza? Can't say I have, but I'm sure there's there's ways to make that work. There it is, the king of all pizza toppings, the anchovies. <laughs> I have never had anchovies on a pizza, but I have smelled anchovies before, and boy, they smell like they came straight out of the ocean. Not in a good way. Is there anything else? Dark chocolate? Gross. Let's add white chocolate. Also disgusting. Okay, okay. This is truly going to be a heinous pizza and I'm so proud. Okay, so now we need to like prep all these ingredients. So this is this is pretty cool. Cause you have this thing and this is like all your ingredients. You can lay them out ahead of time before you make your pizza. Oh, also we don't have pizza sauce. I can't believe I forgot about the pizza sauce. Oh, check it out, our dough. Homemade pizza dough. Let's go. It actually worked. That's amazing. Um, we do need to make pizza sauce. We'll get to that. Let's let's prep some of our lovely ingredients. Um, so so you can wait. Can can I not chop the uh, the anchovies? Okay, you put them in whole. All right, sure. Oops, I just broke my anchovy jar. Fortunately, I got two jars. All right, so we're gonna fill this guy with uh, with all of our anchovies. <sighs> There you go. Delicious. Got some corn, of course. No pizza is complete without a healthy helping of corn. Right, the bananas. Okay, wait, I can't. Why can't I pick up the bananas? Oh, there we go. Okay, so check this out. We got auto cutter. So we can place the bananas in the auto cutter and it'll slice and dice them perfectly for your pizza making needs. We probably don't need all those bananas, so I just put three in there. Let's chop them up and then we'll see what we get. I feel like an auto cutter would just turn the bananas into pudding, but it's actually super awesome. Asparagus, do we put that in the auto cutter? I guess we do. Yeah. Oh, we forgot cheese. We need cheese. What kind of cheese are we gonna put on this delicious meal? I don't know. Let's go down and, and see what kind of options we have. So there's provolone, there's Grana Padano, Gorgonzola. That's a nice stinky cheese. I think that's the one. Come with me, Gorgonzola. We can plop this guy in the shredder. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, is this gonna make enough? I don't know if this is gonna make enough. We might have to grab some more. Let's go grab some more. Slice it and dice it. I'm currently throwing all of the extra bananas on the floor, which is you know, where we keep our bananas. I'm actually doing it because they're just kind of in the way. What do I do with this chocolate? Do you think I can put this? Oh, I can put it in the automatic cutter with the asparagus. <laughs> oh gosh. So it's gonna be a combination of asparagus and white chocolate. Oh no, it's not gonna let me. Oh, because I've already cut the asparagus, you fool. Okay, now we can do it. Chop up that white chocolate. Right, we have some chili peppers. You know what, actually, I think we can no, no, because we because we have stuff that that can't be chopped together. Okay, never mind. Let's uh, let's put the chili peppers in the automatic cutter, and I think that will be good enough. Okay, we've uh, gathered some of these lovely ingredients. Wait, where's my gorgonzola cheese? Oh, right, it's in the shredder. There you go. Oh, that looks real weird. Beautiful. Now we need to make pizza sauce, and there is pizza sauce uh, recipes in here. Oh, chocolate hazelnut. Barbecue hummus garlic ranch sauce sounds truly disgusting with this combination. I'm sure it works with some arrangements of pizzas, but with this one, 
<laughs> Let's do it. We don't even need to change this. This is just, this is disgusting by itself. All right, we need 50 grams of garlic. I'm hoping that that's just like one clove. Let's, let's see. Oh gosh, that is not one clove, that's 10. Okay, I think we're gonna need our basket, but this is where we make our sauce. All right, so I got all my cloves of garlic. Can I just pour these in? Oh yeah, nice. Oh, I put way too much. Oops, now let's add some mayo, shall we? How much? I have no idea. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, I'm out. Grab another bottle. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, that's good. Good. We didn't over pour on the mayo. Might be a little extra garlicky, but the mayo is right on track. Sour cream and milk are next. All right. Dollop of daisy. Whoops. Okay, now we're just adding in some milk. That's good, that's good, stop! Okay, or don't. A little extra milk won't hurt anybody. Dill weed, where's that? Which one are you? Ah, I found you. All right, get in there. Fresh parsley, there you go, okay. Black pepper and salt. You don't need a lot, just gotta season to taste. That's good, salt it. Okay, okay, is that it? No, oh, onion powder, there we go, and it's done. Okay, now we just need to cook it. I think I just need to press this button. Oh wait, it needs one of those containers. Go to your home. There we go. All right, it only takes five seconds. It's incredible. And our sauce is complete. Oh, yes. And it looks pretty disgusting. All right. Woo. We've done all the prep. Now it's time to make the pizza. And it's gonna be a big boy. So now check this out. We can pull this guy out here. Look at that. How cool is that? All right, let's lay out the dough. And start, start doing this thing. Yeah, that was amazing. But we didn't do the spinning. Throwing. We're in an Italian pizzeria and we're not throwing, spinning the pizzas. I feel like we're doing something wrong here. All right, ingredients selection. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be gross. All right, there you go. Get a nice uh, smattering of uh, garlic ranch sauce and then uh, some gorgonzola cheese. Mm -hmm. That is good stuff. How do I, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. If I, oh, I see, yeah, we want a lot of cheese. There you go, cover the entire area of the pizza. No, we need more than that. Come on, you really gotta taste the gorgonzola. What's the point if you can't taste it? <laughs> oh, 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 it's truly going to be magnificently horrible. Let's add in some chili peppers. Just, just plop them down randomly. Nice and random. It's gonna be spicy too. Remember, there's also hot sauce in the pizza dough. Let's not forget that. <laughs> what have I done? Bananas, of course. How could we forget the bananas? You need lots of bananas. Can we stack? Okay, yeah, so you can put ingredients on top of each other so we don't have to worry about leaving enough room for all the ingredients. They can be, it can be all nice and packed in there. Ugh, ugh. I can't even imagine what this would taste like, but I'm creating it and I'm proud, sort of. Anchovies, oh, you know it. Oh, and check it out, we can rotate them, you know, for for aesthetic appeal. You know, you, you want your pizza to taste disgusting, but you don't want it to look disgusting. Kind of feel like we're already too late on that. Oof, oof, beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean hideous. Let's add some corn, just shake some corn on there. <laughs> I think that's enough corn. Oops, what else we got? All oh, right, asparagus and white chocolate. What is wrong with me? Honestly, oh, what am I doing? Gosh, white chocolate's just, that's just a step in the most disgusting direction and I, I'm so happy. Can't you tell by my face that I'm very happy? This is a very happy look. Happy expressions all around, gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. And there is but one more ingredient, and that is the capers, which keep in mind, if you've never had capers before, they're extremely salty. So you got quite the mixture of flavors going on here. This is just, I mean, this is instant vomit, right? Like you're gonna throw up if you eat this. Uh, we should probably add some fresh herbs though. We wouldn't want to go light on the herbs. Um, how about some basil? Everybody loves basil on their pizza, right? And it looks real pretty. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? You know, somehow I've managed to make a pizza that has no tomatoes. <laughs> not in the sauce, 
Not on the pizza. No tomatoes to be found. Awesome. But there you have it. Uh, th this is our creation, and it is just truly disgusting. There's capers floating. Am I the only one seeing these floating capers? Uh-oh. Next up is throwing it in the oven. Uh, we need to we need to get the oven going. It took so long to prep everything. The oven cooled down. We gotta get it in the green. Did I forget about the orders? No. Much more important things to take care of right now. Don't you understand, little pizza man? Okay. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Grab this thing. The pizza peel. Awesome name. I didn't know what this was called until I played this. I'm glad I know now. <laughs> All right. Pop it in the oven and everybody will leave my pizzeria just from this thing cooking. Just the smells that this thing is going to create is going to make people run away. Here it goes. Homemade pizza base. I don't... Why is it called a pizza base? What does that mean? Maybe the game doesn't feel comfortable just calling it a pizza because it's, it's not. It's It's got bananas on it. I mean, can we... It, it's more like a weird, gross cake. I don't know. It's done. It's done. Get it out. You don't want to burn this masterpiece. <laughs> I love that the capers are still floating. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, uh, there it is in all of its glory. Uh, I don't know why the capers are floating, but uh, we'll, we'll just ignore that for now. What do you think I can sell this thing for? How much money did someone pay to, to basically throw up is really the question. I feel like it needs some final touches, like uh, like some fire extinguisher, right? Put out some good flavor right there. Okay, all right, good. No, how do I, what? Okay, put this thing back. What? Okay, now it's a floating fire extinguisher. Cool. Look at this mess that I made. Just this one pizza, and I created this mess. I think it's safe to say that I should probably never own a pizzeria, but I do think that we've managed to make one of the most foul pizzas mankind has ever seen. Um, so we just throw that on there, hit the bell, and there you go. Eat up, people. Enjoy whoever ordered this monstrosity. I wish I could eat it. 